And this morning, Michigan's gas prices continue to surpass the national average. The average Michiganders are paying is $5.06 a gallon. That's 19 cents more than the national average. In Metro Detroit, drivers are feeling the pinch even more. According to AAA, a gallon of regular unleaded is going for $5.14 a gallon. That's up uh, from $4.71 this time last week and $3.09 a year ago. Oh, this morning, two people are recovering from injuries suffered in an Amtrak train incident in Ann Arbor on Sunday. Police said the victims were hit by that train just south of Mitchell Field. We're told one person is in critical condition after being thrown into the Huron River. The other is in serious condition. Investigators say the victims were trespassing on the tracks and likely didn't hear the train approach. Well, the Wayne County Fairgrounds is reviewing its policies after a fight forced the summer kickoff festival to shut down early Saturday. Moving forward, anyone under the age of 18 must be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian and no walk-in customers will be admitted. The fairgrounds closed around 830 Saturday night. We're told a fight broke out and police had to be called. Additional safety measures, we're told, may be announced before the Wayne County Fair opens in August. Good morning. We do have the threat of severe thunderstorms later today. This morning is going to be dry and actually comfortable, but the humidity will be skyrocketing by this afternoon. It's going to be getting more humid, a warmer day in the 80s. The timing of severe weather really focused around the four to seven period uh, time frame later today through this evening. Some storms could be coming in a little bit earlier than that in the afternoon, but damaging wind gusts and hail be the biggest threat. Then we have a risk of heavy rain continuing overnight that would lead to flooding concerns overnight. So strong damage winds possible in storms late today and this evening and then more heavy rain expected overnight.